It's a Danish uh, investigator-initiated uh, study. Uh, we, we, we did a similar uh, study in patients with, uh, with metastatic uh, pre-treated colorectal cancer. We presented uh, those data at the uh, ESMO GI meeting in 2019, where we showed that that uh, bevacizumab, when it was added to uh, uh, trifluid in chipirastil, then then the progression-free survival and overall survival was actually prolonged. And uh, and in our opinion, we think that when we are treating patients with correct cancer in late line, then 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 the patient benefit from this combination of trifluid in chipirastil with bevacizumab. Then, then uh, uh, the tax trial uh, was later uh, published, showing that that patients uh, with esophageal gastric cancer they benefited from from uh, this drug, also called TAS one hundred two. In the, in the tax trial, it was shown that uh, it was better to treat the patient with TAS one hundred two than best supportive care. And then based on our prior trial in colorectal cancer, we, we uh, designed uh, a trial where we were aiming for a prolongation of progression-free survival from two to four months, similar to the data in colorectal cancer. And then we could calculate that we needed around 100 patients um, to show this difference. And from uh, 2019 to uh, 2021, uh, we included patients who had been pretreated with fluopyrimidine and platinum. Platinum could be oxaliplatin, cisplatin, or carboplatin. Uh, we basically Ran, we randomized 103 patients and we found no difference in, in, in baseline uh, characteristics. We, we, we could see that, that uh, patients who received combination treatment, they received uh, four cycles, uh, but patients who received monotherapy, they received two cycles. But... but uh, Unfortunately, we did not see a difference in neither progression-free survival or overall survival. The progression-free survival was uh, 3.7 and 3.9 uh, months, and uh, overall survival was 9.0 and 9.6 months. We saw no difference in, uh, in uh, adverse events. We looked it was unplanned uh, analysis. We, we looked into subgroups and actually we could see that in patients who were treated in the third line or later, they actually benefited from, from uh, addition of bevacizumab. So we speculated that perhaps the benefit was higher in later line of the uh, treatment.